Hello and welcome to lesson eight of web design and development for National 5 Computing Science. Today we're taking a look at the div tag. I've got a website here that I made just a few minutes ago to demonstrate the div tag. Now you can see I've got some HTML here. Oh, a couple of things I want to mention uh, before we get into it actually is that white space doesn't really matter in HTML. If I add loads of white space there, it makes no difference to my website. No white space here. So it's a uh, for readability reasons, it can be a good idea to have white space. And also inside a paragraph tag, doesn't matter how many spaces I add to this or how many new lines I add to this, if I save it and refresh, it makes absolutely no difference to the text in my website. So I'll just undo all that. So back to the div tag, what is the div tag? The div tag stands for division. So it's a way of sectioning your website into different little groups of information. For example, I might want to group this Rottweiler heading with the picture and the paragraph that relates to it and then group the Chihuahua one uh, all together as well. So what I can do, I'll not in my H1, I'll go down above my H2, I'll add a div tag, div, and I'm going to highlight this text and I'm gonna press the tab key on my keyboard. That's the one above caps lock. And afterwards, I'll go back one and close the div. Now you may notice if I do the same, you may notice that this actually does nothing. It does nothing really, whoops. And I'll highlight these, push them in and save. You'll notice it, do it really does nothing to the website itself. Zero difference, refresh. No difference at all. But the good thing about divs is that you can style them. I could add a style to this div and give it a background oops, color oh, of a light blue. Let's try this. So you see that all the Rottweiler information is in light blue. Let's add a style to this one. And the background color of the Chihuahua section is red. So that's what divs are for, grouping sections of content. In previous videos, I spoke about child attributes. Now you may notice that this div wraps around, it contains all of this information and the elements that are inside this div, they will inherit some of the styles from it. For example, if I change the color to white, now color refers to text color, whereas background color refers to just the background. If I change color to white, all of the text inherits that style. All of the children of the div inherits the color of that div. So very handy for applying styles to a group of content. This has been a very quick video. I hope you experiment with this, try it out, give it a blast, see what you can come up with, and I hope you have fun. I'll see you in the next one.